Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the couch. That's right, because this film is exclusive to Netflix, well, and playing in a few limited release theaters as well, but... The time has finally come. The king has returned because it's the latest Ryan Gosling film. You know I'm excited about it, but should you be? My review of the 2022 action film, The Gray Man, coming up now. CIA operative known as Sierra Six is on his latest mission when he surprisingly uncovers dark secrets of the agency. Six soon finds himself in the path of Lloyd Hansen, a former colleague and all-around crazy mercenary who puts a bounty on his head, piquing the interest of international assassins. Six also ends up having to save the niece of his former father figure after she's kidnapped by Hansen. So what did I think of The Gray Man? I thought it's a serviceable action thriller. It's based on the 2009 novel of the same name by Mark Greeny. The film is directed by Anthony and Joe Russo, who are best known for helming Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. The cinematography of its many cool locales and camera movements are interesting and even use of drones but sometimes it's distracting and may cause you to pop some dramamine there are a couple of wonky looking cgi effects throughout as well the action sequences are definitely big from car chases shootouts hand-to-hand -hand battles explosions and fights on a tram and even an airplane while there's wall-to-wall -wall action and some fun scenes between Gosling and Evans, one of which reminded me of The Shining of all things, I wish there was a little more tension involved in these sequences. The plot is very generic with a lot of cliches from films, especially with the illustrious hard drive everyone is out to get to the predictable twists or the kidnapped girl who the hero has to save. It borrows ideas from things such as the James Bond franchise, other spy movies such as the Bourne series, or even Taken or whatever Liam Neeson movie is out this month. I also thought there would be more to the subplot of the random assassins coming after Six as they just come and go here and there. There are some funny lines in the script, and it's fun seeing Chris Evans play against type with this over-the-top villain, but overall the dialogue is pretty bad. The characters, especially the supporting ones, could have used some more depth to them, too, as they're all pretty paper-thin. Ryan Gosling stars as Sierra Six, the CIA black ops assassin forced to go on the run after discovering important secrets. Chris Evans as Lloyd Hansen, the psychopathic former agent brought in to take out Six. Ana de Armas as Danny Miranda, the CIA agent and Six's partner. Reggae Jean Page as Denny Carmichael, the rising CIA official hiding secrets. Jessica Henwick as Suzanne Brewer, Carmichael's subordinate, who's sent to keep an eye on Hanson. And Billy Bob Thornton as Donald Fitzroy, the CIA official who offers Six his freedom in exchange for being an assassin for the CIA. Considering those involved behind and in front of the camera, The Gray Man should have been a much better production than we got, but it's still a mostly entertaining action romp. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.